Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations. When we last left off, we were about to go see the comms officer. And uh, as you can hear, let me turn my headset down a little bit. He's a little bit rowdy, locked away in his uh, fortress of solitude. So, before we go uh, unleash the beast, let's have a little poke around, shall we? See what we can find. Uh, ooh, handgun bullets. Sure, why not, I suppose. Handgun bullets are always nice. I guess. Apart from, you know, when there's the choice of any other ammunition. Nice, ten shotgun shells. That will go probably not as far as I'm ooh, hoping it will, but, you know... I guess. Plenty of explosive barrels around. The explosive barrels look like they're in a slightly different configuration than normal mode as well. Again, not going to say for sure, but it kind of looks like they are. I don't remember explosive barrels that were kind of on angle like that, but maybe they were. Handprint. Who do we need too far to scan? What bullshit is this? Alright, okay. Shotgun shells. 15 of the boys there. Good to know. Alright. Are we ready to commence this utter shit show? I think we are. This is going to be painful. Uh, all of these greyed out windows, these black windows here. Um, yeah, these are enemy spawn locations, obviously. What do we have here? Well, I guess that kind of lets the cat out of the bag. Oof. In case you thought this was going to be a peaceful day at the seaside. Jink! Hey, dude. We're going to let him have it. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Straight off the bat, we get a one hit kill. Thanks, dude. To be fair, um, <laughs> I kind of thought we were going to die a few times. I didn't think we were going to die there, but, you know. Unfortunately, we now have to go and explore and uncover all that ammo and stuff again, but we're not going to do that. We've got plenty. I hope. Right, once more we're feeling. Um, why did we not deploy? Okay, we should have deployed. Oh, actually. You know, this machine gun. Really, Jill? Well, nothing gets past you, does it? Nothing gets past you at all, Jill. You're a genius. Ooh, hello. That was unfortunate. Didn't really want to turn around and see that uh, rather imposing gentleman looking back at us now, did we? Unfortunately, there we go. Right. Oh, you son of a... You can't hear them behind you. Alright, let's go for a hill. Get out of my face, dude. Seriously. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, we're chewing through them at actually quite a good little pace here. Interesting. You know, maybe, maybe this mode ain't quite all it's cracked up to be. Oh, hi. Hi, hello. How are you? What's your name? What is your name? Now, obviously, the only concern... I don't want to melee him. Because as kind of cool as that, actually... Oh, he's dead. Oh. Oh. Well, I mean... Yeah, no, no shit, Parker. I... Yeah, thought 
that was going to be significantly harder than it actually was. Huh. Okay. That makes me um, much more <laughs> confident about the rest of the game. I guess. There's actually more shotgun shells there. The, I'll tell you what, actually. Uh, the enemies aren't actually as strong as I thought they would be. They're definitely not as tough as they are, save, for instance, in raid mode. Um, and we didn't even need to use any of our actual um, specialist items, which... Yeah, I, I don't know, guys. I thought that was going to be really rough. Now, his instant, like, death attack that he does, uh, there is actually an achievement for avoiding that. Um, I don't think I've got it. Uh, I don't... Uh, I, I can't remember uh, ever <laughs> dodging it. So, you know, go figure, I guess. Usually, because you're trying to run away from him. Alright. Oh, actually, where did he come from? There's a handprint where he he was. Uh, I've... I was looking up some more stuff uh, about Inferno mode. And one of the things they do recommend is getting all the handprints before you do it. Because you can unlock, unlock some very powerful weapons and getting through the campaign mode without dying as well uh which i guess is best to do on a new game plus yeah so there should be a handprint like there but i must have already got that in a prior playthrough okay communications officers journal this one is pretty bloody good probably the best log in the game actually a really good one day one i made the right decision uh, coming up to the promenade. Let me just mute my phone a minute. I don't know why it's going crazy all of a sudden. Thousand notifications. Uh, I made the right decision coming up to the promenade. I've got food and beverages to last me a long time. I can still hear those things out there crawling uh, on my door and looking for prey. Too bad they ain't getting in here. I have no idea if anybody else is still alive. But I know I'm going to make it through this all right. Day two. Shit, those damn things got in through the air ducts. But I put them all down before they could do any real damage. I've trained for this. I've trained hard. Hats off to me. Good thing I was up when it happened. No more deep sleeps for me. Day three. After yesterday's surprise party, I haven't been able to sleep a wink. My nerves are frayed. I wish I wasn't the only one here. Pretty tired today. Don't feel well. Better not get sick. I shouldn't move. I need to conserve energy. Just hang in there. I think this is day four. I got a fever. I hope those monsters don't find me like this. I'm so out of it. Am I infected? Is it just a cold? There's a big lump on my head. It hurts. I wish I had someone to talk to. I'm so alone. How many days is it? I found someone to talk to. So happy. He's very funny. Tells lots of jokes. Lots. They're funny. I laugh. Laugh at his... F his face is too close. In my face. He thinks so too. No room to move. Had a fight. He wanted all of the foods. He was eating meat. Good. Tasty meat. I saw his face chewing, eating. No meat for me. Look tasty. His head looks tasty. Help. Can't move. Trapped. Not me. Who is me? Help. Please help. Mayday. Mayday. And there we go. Meat. Eat. Eat. Eaty meat. <laughs> yeah. One of my favorite um, logs in the game. Actually, probably the best log in the game. Not that there's... There's not a lot of, you know, competition for best log in this game, but... That is a doozy. Kind of reminiscent of the old itchy tasty uh, log. Oh. 
Right, so I think we're done here. I think we are indeed done here. So let's start opening up some doors. Life boy mark? Did we not? Ah, right. Didn't pick the key up. Well, that was silly. That was very silly. Now we have the, the key life. To the communication room? Okay. Leave this monster infested hell hall. Well, hold on, guys. I don't think we're going to be going anywhere just yet. Uh, I guess we'll take the shotgun. Any goodies? Oh, we've got some custom parts. Now, these custom parts do actually stack. Oh, a green herb. Can't heal. Um, so, if we play this game multiple times, they do actually continuously stack, which is actually quite nice. One thing I don't know uh, is if the ammo pouches and things, if they stack. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. It would be nice if they did. Fire rate 2. What can we put that bad boy on? Fire rate 2. So that can go on everything apart from a uh, automatic. Hmm. Reload speed critical plus thirty. Uh you know, maybe in Well we can't actually put fire rate on this, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um yeah, fine. Right, let's go, Parker, me old mate. Let's get out of here. Let's go and have a little bit of fun. Wherever we can use this life boy key. Now what was that? Machine gun ammo. Yep, we'll have that bad boy. Now the next boss that we've got coming up isn't too bad. Yeah. Jill's intuition. Monster intuition. You ready, Parker, old mate? I think we're going to run into Raymond here. Um, I thought he was Raymond not here. Actually, should we go all the way back? Let's not do that yet. Okay, I was going to say, if we go all the way back to the dining hall, is that... Um... Hmm... Because there's a door in there that we can obviously unlock. Uh, I don't... Is that the life boy? Is it worth going all the way back now and checking? Because I might be wrong. And I don't think if we have a peep at the map, if it tells us. So that we need the key card for. Do we need the key card there and there? Okay, so there's a locked door there, but we actually need that. Uh. Yeah, that's actually a. Oh. Yeah, cafeteria. Okay. That is actually the um the key that we have. I didn't realize on the map it actually told us. So we've got the helm key and the life boy key. Unfortunately, we don't have the right key. Okay, interesting. All right, fair dues. No, I'm glad I checked. Yeah, cool, cool. Right, let's go. An anchor. That's what we need. We need the anchor key that we don't have yet. But we will. We'll get that. Oh, actually. Possibly. Is Raymond there? Is Raymond not there? Ah, what a dickhead. Um, what we can do, I think we can go back to the pool now. 
kind of want to go to the pool as well because I believe if indeed we can go to the pool there's some uh, good stuff in there there's a lot of ammunition which eh, I don't think we really need but there is some illegal custom parts there and I can't remember what those illegal custom parts are I just know they're illegal custom parts and that generally means they're good I did like the upgrade mechanics in this game. Um, you know, finding all of these attachments and stuff which we can supplement our weapons with. You know, it was it was a pretty good idea. I don't know if I prefer it over Resident Evil 4's upgrade system. I'm, you know, probably not. Resident Evil 4 with its merchant system was just awesome. Nah, I hasn't finished filtering yet. Probably the next chapter. Um, that was just awesome. Resident Evil 5's upgrade system wasn't too bad. Like, it wasn't as cool as a merchant. But, I mean, it was basically the same thing. You just got the shop screen at the end of each chapter. Which, I guess, was fine. Um, what really fucked 5 was, for me anyway, was the um, inventory. You know, having 9 slots really did limit you quite a lot. And of course, you know, having Sheva as well. And everybody hates Sheva because she was useless, which is a bit unfair because Sheva is an actual character in the Resident Evil series and lore. I thought she was pretty good. I would like to see her come back. But obviously, you know, everyone hates her because she had really shitty bad AI, which isn't the character's fault. Just saying. Anywho, and then of course we went on to Resident Evil 6, which, you know, had none of that cool stuff. Freeman. Looks like we both were too late. What are you talking about? Huh. Ignorant creatures who do not yet know of us. Both of you. Look. Thou wilt be thy Who could that be? My words be seed that may bear fruit of infamy to the traitor whom I know. Speaking and weeping shall thou see together. Ugh. I know not who thou art, nor by what mode thou hast come down here. The world is in our hands. This is the tea of this virus, and we are equipped to infect one fifth of the Earth's waters. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Abandon hope? He's quoting Dante. Send a team to Valcoin and Mach Airport. Look for something linked to this ship, O'Brien. Yes, I read you. I'll send Quentin Key. What? You two, get ready to move. Uh, I hate snow. <laughs> snow hates you. Just find out anything you can on Veltro. I actually do quite like those two. I don't see a thing. I thought the Mediterranean was just like a big lake. Be patient. Finding a ship Who gave her a job, honestly? No kidding. But that still doesn't solve our problem. Hey, are you even listening? Find your Jill. I promise. I'm pretty sure Chris would tune Jessica out. I mean, I would. 
thought the Mediterranean was just a big lake. Uh, what? Jesus Christ. Anyway, not the best score in the world, but hey, we're not rank running here. B, oof, would have been nice to see an A, but I'll take a B, that's fine. Anyway, what are we on? 20 minutes. Let's keep going. Previously, Previously on Resident on. Evil Revelation. Yeah, look. Alright, we, we, we know. Okay, it's cool. It's fine. A nightmare revisited. We are Veltro. Vengeful messages from the depths of the Inferno. Looks like you missed a few. And they're on this ship. And now they want to use the virus to stage another attack. They seek the truth about Terra Grigia and vengeance. I mean, I'm not a fan of Raymond, but ships out of power. he's not a dumbass. System needs the main power. We need to bring the engine room back online. And that won't be easy. Sounds like we're going to the bilge. Okay. The bilge, well, that's fun and games down there. Safety procedures. Because this vessel was involved in a prior accident, safety standards go beyond those outlined in Maritime Safety Act. Uh, have been introduced. All crew must read and study this manual to be prepared to act in case of an emergency. One, the Queen Zenobia has two unique power generators. If the main power generator should fail, the backup generator in the bilge will compensate for its loss and supply the entire ship with operating power. Two, this ship contains vertical and horizontal bulkheads that automatically divert water in case, in case of flooding. In the event of emergency, the bulkheads can be operated by the control system in the bilge. This system will continue to operate even after sustaining minimal damage. Minimal damage, okay. Right. The communication system has been destroyed too. See, Jill's bathing suit, uh, bathing suit? Um, wetsuit, like actually does look like a wetsuit. You know, like a actual human would wear uh, Jessica's is just I mean, actually does Jill's bathing suit have high heels kind of hope not it's just utterly ridiculous it just pulls me out of the immersion I'm sorry oh hey dude Take it. You might need it. Um, like you said, on the power won't be easy. probably going to need it Thanks, dude. That key will get you through the casino on the first floor. Then you'll find a lift to take you to the bilge. But tell me something first. You didn't see any other FBC members here, did you? I can't reach my partner, Rachel. Damn it. I haven't heard from her since she went to the bilge. Hmm. Rachel, you say? Well, we'll keep an eye out. For this Rachel woman? I'm sure, well, we'll be uh, running into each other at some point. Anywho, let's go back to the pool. The pool should be clear by now. We've got our anchor key as well, so we can check out the room in the dining room. The locked door in the dining room, I should say. A dining room. Yes, Barry, a dining room. Barry should have been in this game, man. I kind of wish they had swapped Parker out for Barry. I actually don't mind Parker, but, you know, I, I suppose we got Chris and Jill in one game, which was pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know who you're trying to impress, dude. Pop. Good lad. Right. And... Uh, Okay. 
Oh, there's no more. Okay, no more explodey dudes. Alright, well, I'm happy with that. Actually, nice. Let's go into this pure, purified water. Although, as nice and as pure as this water is, it's still got this um, mass growing, which, well, yeah, uh, not sure how how much I trust that, but, you know, I'm not in this situation, so I don't have to worry. Jill, don't be difficult, Jill. Jill's always quite difficult when it comes to ladders. Maybe she's afraid of heights. It's possible, but knowing Jill, nah, I don't think so. Oh, we haven't got that one. Handprint found. Look at all this stuff. Oh, is that a magnum over there? I'm not sure what that is. Not sure why the adjust... There we go. Work there. It... Oh, it's the P90. Sick. I don't think the P90 is actually as good as what we have here. Actually, I don't know. Can't remember. Let's go find out. P90 is a very nice piece. I'm sure you can imagine. And I think this is the way we came. Nope. Nice. Right, what are we looking at here? So we've got some custom parts. Yum, yum, yum. We've got a BOW decoy. Sure. Grenade. Nice. Illegal custom parts. Lovely. Now, uh, change weapon. We will swap that for that, I guess. The P90. We'll check the stats on it later. Sooner rather than later, I hope. Legendary parts. Okay. Plenty of shotgun shells. I don't think we can actually grab the shotgun shells, though. No, we can't. That's a shame. But, you know, whatever. At least we, you know, got the main stuff. P90, eh? Okay. We can go O'Neill on these bastards. Right, let's go. Let's go. I do like how quickly we can swim. It's just a shame that the swimming controls aren't exactly great. I mean, they're not terrible by any stretch of the imagination, but they're definitely not brilliant. Okay. So, yeah, that area actually is completely optional, which is interesting. Right, let's go. It's actually a weapon um, cache here somewhere. Oh yeah, I do like the fact this game still has the item boxes as well. I mean, they're not super important because there is no inventory management to, you know, really worry about. Apart from the fact you only have three weapons at once, but, you know. The thing is, um, I've always thought, you know, the fact that they've removed uh, inventory management in this game, um, it didn't hurt it, you know? I never once was bothered by the lack of the inventory man uh, management, to be honest. Because, I'll be fair, it irritates the piss out of me sometimes, going back to those older... Re well, actually, to be fair, going back to those older Resident Evil games doesn't really bother me at all because I know the game so well. But, I don't miss it, put it that way. Charge shot one and a narrow. Okay, we didn't get the best things in the world there. But, whatever. So, if we... If we remove everything off this... So, that does 140 base. That only does 90 base. Oh, okay. 90 base. But the firing speed on that is double. And the capacity is humongous. So, I'll generally, I like to go for... The high damage weapons. Maybe we can work with this though. Maybe. Long magazine, like 84 round magazine is pretty gnarly to be fair. 
uh, critical. Yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, the more shots you have, the more chances you have for a critical damage, I suppose. And with reload of four. Uh, 144 damage. I mean... Maybe. We have an incredibly deep magazine with this weapon now. And my god, look at that reload. Yeah, okay, maybe. This might be a good shout. As I say, usually I prefer damage output. Um, but yeah, okay, we'll give it a go. I do like the automatics in this game. This game's definitely aged, though. Like, really aged. Especially when it comes to just how the weapons handle, the way the weapons feel. But, you know, it's still, it's still sufficient. Oh, yes. This bit. Deep joy. Now we should be able to switch everything on. I don't think we can go through there. We can't. That's fine. We don't want to go through there anyway, game. Just saying. Um, where are we? Let's go flip this switch. Uh, yep. Store power to the casino. All right. It's a very nice little casino here. Not sure it's going to serve. It's a luxury ship. They have things like casinos. I would imagine all ships, uh, cruise liners have casinos. Looks like I placed the coins here. Uh, what coins, Jill? Are you not getting ahead of yourself there, young lady? Now, that's, there should be some... Actually, I don't think there's much in here to find at all, to be honest. Shotgun shells. Yeah, we really need to start using some of the, this ammo, don't we? We really do. <clears throat> okay. Hangar ammo as well. Alright. Alright, well. Oh, hello. What do you have for me? Ooh. Oh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for half a magazine. Casino staff report. I finally found out how to bypass the security on the VIP room. That room's reserved for all the high rollers. So I've always been curious what goes on in there. It's so easy. All you have to do is to feed the coins to the casino girl next to the door and you can bypass any security. You have to hit the precise weight, 107 grams, a small price to pay for access to the VIP room. Yeah, I remember. Yes. All right, let's go push that. Uh-oh. Yep. Looks like we're, we're, we're turning guppies into jaws now. Right, he's dead. I think there's three of these guys. Yeah, Parker, I don't know what shotgun you're using, mate, but it's really not doing us any favours here. Okay, here, little fishy. Come, little fishy. Oh, there's four of them. Okay. There we go. Alright, not bad. There are five of them? How many is there? Ah, he drops a coin. Right, so now we have a coin. Let's go have a little bit of a gamble. Uh, you probably don't wish you had a gambling machine at home. You got one coin back. Well, that's no good. Ugh. 
Come on, baby. Lady Luck. Let's be having ya. Ugh. Crap. I think one of these machines is, like, luckier than the others. I can't really remember. Ah. Let's have a go at this boy. There we go. Look at that. We now are a millionaire. Just a shame we're in this shithole. Never mind. Can't have everything now, can we? Right, so if I remember correctly... Uh, right. Close. Ugh. So close. There we go. Simple puzzle, really. Right. And that gives us a nice little save spot. And with that save spot, guys... Oh, yeah, we're probably going to have to call it, unfortunately. Been enjoying this game. Really enjoying this game. It's going to get hard. I know... Well, it doesn't... I don't really feel like we're playing it on the hardest difficulty yet. Uh, I'm sure that's going to change. Maybe. But, um, hey, well, I guess we'll, we'll see, won't we? So, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.